Hello email enthusiasts, ready to take your email security and authenticity to the next level. So today I will be showing you how you can set up Dikim, Demog and SPF to your Namecheap domain while you are using Google Workspace for sending Google Outreach campaign. Those are the records that help you increase your email authenticity, security and deliverability. Before diving into the video, let's have a short discussion about what is Dikim, Demog and SPF and why they are essential or crucial for your email setup. Dikim, it stands for Domain Keys Identified Mail. When you are adding Dikim, it seems like adding a digital signature to your outgoing email and it's verifying the email you are sending, sending from your domain. Now DMARC. DMARC stands for Domain Based Message Authentication Reporting and Conformance. It helps you enforce email authentication policies and receive report on email activities. The last one is SPF. It stands for Sender Policy Framework. This record specified which email server are allowed to send email on behalf of your domain, preventing email spoofing and phishing. This is all about Dikim, Demark, and SPF. So let's dive into the video and see how you can set up those records in your Namecheap domain while you are using Google Workspace for sending Colorado campaign. So I have signed into my Google Workspace account to set up Dikim for my domain. So after signing into your Google Workspace account, click on Apps. Then click on Google Workspace, another Google Workspace, click on Gmail. And from here, just click on Authenticate Email. And this is the page where you have to choose the domain you want to set up the DKIM. So I'm going to choose my domain. This is the domain I will be set up, DKIM. After choosing your domain, click on Create New Record. And I, I will suggest you to don't need to change anything and uh, continue with the default so just click on generate and here it is this is the DKIM record that I have to set up in my domain DNS as a txt record so first copy the DNS host name go to your name chip account find the domain click on manage and here it is click on advanced DNS To add a new txt records, click on add new record, choose txt and under the host name as I copied the host name from my Google Workspace account so I'm going to paste the host name okay and under the value once again I have to go to my Google Workspace account I have to copy the value okay I have copied it and now I'm, go I'm going to paste it here okay when you are done just click on save changes and good go back to your Google Workspace account once again and give it a few minutes, just one or uh, two or three minutes. And after that, just uh, I'm going to click on start authentication. So I have to wait just two minutes. So I'm going to click on start authentication and I still have to wait a little bit. Start authentication and it's done. It started authentication as it's showing that authenticating email with DKIM. It's authenticating my email and it could take up to 48 hours to update all the domain DNS record. As it's showing here, it may take up to 48 hours for DNS change full. So you have to wait around at least 48 hours to actually update all the things properly. The way you can set up your domain DKIM and authenticate or associate a domain with your email and hope you would be able to set up your DKIM now. To set up SPF to my domain, I have signed into my Namecheap account and this is the domain I'm going to set up SPF. So just click on manage. Go to your domain advanced DNS. And after going to your domain advanced DNS, you have to find the SPF record for Google Workspace. Google Workspace has a specific SPF record. So I will suggest you to just search on Google. Um, Google Workspace SPF record and then open the first result and here it is you already have a nice instruction how you can set up your Google Workspace SPF record. This is the SPF record you have to set up if you want to send email using Google Workspace. So I'm gonna copy the SPF record going to my domain advanced DNS. This is the record you have to add to your domain DNS as a TXT record. So I'm gonna add it as a TXT find txt record under the host name it will be at and then under the value just pass the SPF, SPF record you have copied from the Google and just click on save changes and it is done after setting SPF 
and DKIM to your domain DNS. And our email authentication protocol that you have to set up is DMARC. DMARC stands for Domain Based Message Authentication, Reporting, and Conformance. It's an another authentication protocol built up based on SPF and DKIM to provide extra protection against email based attacks. And it also allows domain owners to specify policies for how email receiving server should handle that email fails SPF and DKIM authentication check. So that's why you have to set up a DMARC to your domain DNS before start sending email using your domain. To set up a DMARC to my domain DNS, I have came back to my domain's advanced DNS. Before that, I have to actually create a DMARC record using DMARC generator. You can just search on Google to find a DMARC generator. I, am, I have made a search on Google and has several DMARC generators. You can choose whatever you generator you want. So I have chosen a generator and I have created or I have generated this DMARC record using this generator. So I'm going to copy this value. This is the record I have to add it to my domain DNS as a TXT record. So I'm going to copy the host name first, going to my DNS, advanced DNS. I'm going to add a TXT record. Click on TXT. Under the host name, I'm going to paste the host name I have copied from the generator. Then I'm going to copy the value. And this is the value I'm going to copy it. And OK, under the advanced DNS, under the value, I'm going to paste it here. And when you, when you are done, just click on Save Changes. And it is done. My DMARC record setup is completed. Now you have to wait at least 48 hours to 72 hours to update the DMARC record to your domain DNS. It takes such a longer time to update the DMARC record. And after that, you can once again make a search on Google to find a DMARC checker. You can find a bunch of DMARC checker and you have to put your domain name to check out your DMARC record is updated or not. So this is the very simple way you can set up your DMARC record to your domain DNS. It's all for today. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.